Hello, I hope you are well. Today we are going to try our hand at working with Fimo clay, polymer clay, uh, to try and make some pretty pendants, maybe. <laughs> I'm not a specialist at all, so I'll tell you right away that this is not, not my area of expertise. <laughs> I've already worked a little. Oh, damn, I don't have my role. Yes, I'm not at all a specialist in polymer clay. I've been trying to warm it up in my hands for a while, but it's already hard. I took two sticks that I joined with masking tape to make a, a thickness to make guidelines for the thickness so that is more it's more and or less equal well i don't know what it's going to do because i'm not a specialist <laughs> we'll try to do something anyway i'm sure the female clay specialists will be laughing when they see me uh, with my improved uh, tools <laughs> I don't have any specific tools. Well, uh, it's Fimo soft, but it's so hard to stretch. Oh la la! I'm, I'm always amazed when I see Fimo clay being worked, when I see the wonders that come out of this little piece of clay. I think it's great. So, I'd like it uh, to be nice and smooth on uh, the sides. Well, let's say it makes a rectangle. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. Let's keep on smoothing, but uh, it's not easy. It's not easy for me. I'm pressing uh, as hard as I can. Uh, well, I'm going to keep on uh, stretching. It's all right. <laughs> so I've got uh, these uh, little textures uh, rolls, two wooden and one plastic uh, roll something. Guess where these came from? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take the plastic one for now. I open the little package. I, I don't know if you can see there's uh, there's little reliefs if you want. Well, it's t tiny, <laughs> yes. And I try to apply this. And here is my first mistake. <laughs> I didn't press hard enough on uh, this little roll. Uh, yes, it's clear. <laughs> It bothers me a little because you can see the little reliefs, but not much. I I can't go over it again because it's going to make a, a messy mess. <laughs> I'm trying to run my hands over it to see if I can smooth it out like that. That doesn't work either. So I'm going to press it again in another direction. Uh, you never know, it might turn out like... Uh, like that. <laughs> so, that's it. I'm going to use uh, the two big uh, rolls just uh, yet. And now I'm going to take my chameleon powders from Let's Resin. You can also try applying silicone stamps. You know the ones you use for uh, scrapbooking. They can make really pretty things. That will come, that will come too. I'll give you a little demo for, for fun, of course. So now I'm going to try to use my chameleon powders in the best possible way. <laughs> what color am I going to use? Blue, of course, <laughs> because I love blue. I mean, all colors are pretty. So I'm going, going to take a few out here and then apply them uh, to my piece of uh, Fimo clay and see what I can do the best I can. Here we go <laughs> with my little brush.
uh, I show you the colors later. So now I'm going to take my cookie cutters. These are for cookies. <laughs> there are uh, different sizes. Very nice. And now I just have to figure out where I am going to apply them. And okay, let's go. But, 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 then came the question. How am I going to lift it? Well, I took a pair of tweezers, which isn't ideal. <laughs> and then I went on to make my little cutouts in different sizes, which is much more fun. One thing for sure, though, and uh, that's that I should have used the cookie cutters upside down with a slightly rounded side because there's a kind of cut out where the metal is bent and that make made so um, for some not very good little things in fact uh, um, there's one where it looks like it's cracked a bit and I don't know how well it uh, it will hold up in the oven I'd love to hear from the specialist of FIMO. <laughs> so I took my big spatula <laughs> to lift. It's not ideal for sure. <laughs> I need a thinner blade. I can do it, of course, but it's a bit damaging uh, to the back. Anyway, it's uh, not great. It's not great at all. So. I'm going to keep lifting them uh, one by one and we'll see what happens. And then I'm going to rework the little bits of clay I've got left. I'll clean up first and uh, rework everything. While um, I'm waiting to flatten it, I'll show you um, what it looks like so far. And here are the gorgeous highlights with the chameleon powders. I love them. They are my favorite pigments. <laughs> I'm going to take all my little pieces and work on them in uh, the same way. So here is my little sheet. <laughs> it's more or less rectangular this time. <laughs> so I go back to my chameleon, but in different way. As you can see, I put in uh, little dots of powder, but only lightly. You don't need uh, three tones either. I place them randomly on my clay page past and then we'll see what happens. The colors are very pretty as always with chameleons. I put a little powder everywhere, of course, <laughs> um, and a little bit of gold. No reason. There you go. I've got a bit everywhere and now we are going to daub. Yes, obviously some colors are dominant and will dominate the others. But yes, I, I know for the next time, maybe I'll do it uh, differently. I like it this way too. It's fun to do. Very relaxing. Yes. <laughs> it's like uh, I'm like a kid. <laughs> I've got my little brush all over the place. I even picked up a bit of powder to make it really smooth. And here is the result. These gradients are so pretty, I just love it. <laughs> but I made a mistake when I was using my brush. I left some marks with the ferrula of my brush. So I have to cover them up. <laughs> I'm going to use uh, this roller. I call it the wave roller. Well. They're more, more like twists, well, straight twists. <laughs> this way, I hope it will hide my mistake. I have to do some, something stupid, otherwise it wouldn't be me. <laughs> and then I'll take my cookie cutter and continue cutting my little pieces. Okay, that's it. 
and once everything's cut out, don't forget to make the hole before backing. It still save you drilling afterwards. Right, now all my little holes are done, um, and uh, now that's left is to put them in the oven one hour and thirty minutes. Ta-da! I've applied a coat of gel polish that you dry under UV lamp. This one is finished. It's uh, mounted as a necklace. I didn't do the others. I was too impatient to sh to show them to you. <laughs> Well, I think the final result isn't too bad. <laughs> okay, it's true. I need to perfect my polymer clay technique. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> it's not there yet. It's too irregular. It's a little too thick. I need to find my pasta machine. I added some flakes um, from Let's Resin to this one too. I really like it. I made a free form, and you see uh, there are two here that are a bit weird, but after all, you don't have to make a square or round or anything. You can see the colors of the chameleons. Well, ah, those who work with Fimo clay, please give me some tips. <laughs> see you soon for new adventures. Take good care of yourself. See you very quickly. Bye.